The name of this ancient Tajik folk song is Dargilik. Legend has it that it was first sung by a mother whose daughter married a man in a village on the other side of a river, but there was no bridge to cross. The mother would stand on the bank and sing it in the hope her daughter would reply. Dargilik means, I miss you. This is a gift from God to me, and I'm thankful to God for this, and so through my fingers I share this with everyone. This is not just for me. Shavk Mamad shows me around the Gorminj Museum and Music School in Dushanbe, the capital city of Tajikistan. The school was opened by Gorminj Zavkibekov, a Tajik movie star and musician who became famous in the 1940s during the Soviet era. This is a rubab, believed to be a hundred years old from Badakhshan, a region that stretches from southern Tajikistan into northern Afghanistan. This type of instrument is believed to have first been played almost a thousand years ago. As you can imagine, there are stories to be told about these instruments. This, for example, is a traditional Tajik tanbor. It's believed to be around 450 years old. Traditionally, the leather is supposed to have been taken from a killed pregnant horse, the strings from a killed pregnant goat, and the main body here, the wood taken from an apricot tree that is just about to go into full bloom. And the belief is that when the instrument is played, you can hear the voices of the infant goat and horse calling for their mothers. Shavka Mamad not only plays these instruments, but he makes them too. Handmade craftsmanship is very hard, especially drilling. You have to do everything with your hands. From the moment I see the wood, I imagine how the instrument will sound. He is joined by fellow musicians in his group called Samo, meaning sky. Kulomsho plays a rabab and Khorbon Nasein plays the daf, which is a type of drum. The group have over the years toured Europe and America. They play a piece called Sa'ah Bori Koistan, composed in the 1940s. It means news from the mountains. Charles Stratford Al Jazeera, Dushanbe. Tajikistan.